All right, we're gonna do a great old time tune that's actually been turned into a really popular Texas style breakdown. This is Fork It Deer, we're in the key of D. Here we go. So now we're going to learn the melody of Fork a Deer, and it is in the key of D, and so we're going to get all of those classic D notes and D scale things. But one of the things you need to know right up front about this tune is that in the B part, it goes to the chord A at the beginning of the B part, which is sort of an odd move. You don't really see it a lot, and so it changes the way the melody sounds. Now, there's also going to be some other things that we're going to get to when we get to the B part in terms of that A chord and stylistically some, some differences uh, on, you know, just from different places and different people, different versions, and so I'll talk about that when we get there. But let's start with the A part. Now, in Texas style fiddling, bowing is very, very important, and one of the things that you're going to see a lot of are three note slurs and slurring across bar lines. For those of you who read music, that would make sense, right? We put slurs over at the end of one bar line into another bar line, things like that. And one of the really common things is to start a tune with a triplet on a down bow slur and hit that down beat with that down bow. So like that. So the triplet and the down beat are all on the same bow. And when you get to that downbeat, give it a little extra oomph. So you kind of speed your bow up a little bit. And this is a, a bit of a Texas style technique that you're going to want to check into. So we're just going to walk up the D scale. Three, oh, one, two, three. Now we're going to hold there. Now up bow slur. One, three, two. So that's put let's put that together. Hold slur. Now the next phrase starts the same way. All right, now we've got fork a deer, we've got the melody down. Let's see what we want to add to it. So D double stops. It's always good when you're getting into a key and learning a tune, working on something, to just find a few of those double stops. And just kind of get yourself grounded in that key. It's, it's, you know, I switch keys a lot when I'm playing different tunes, and they sound different, they feel different, and so to just go in cold on something can maybe mess with your intonation a little bit. So grab a few double stops before you get into a new tune. It really helps. So we're going to start. So right off the bat, what we're going to be doing is turning quarter notes into eighth notes. So places where we stopped. Da, 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 ba, da, da. Now we're going to put those into two notes. So we're going to do our triplet leading in. So I really want a three note slur there. Chromatic triplet. One, two, two, three. And don't forget, I do a whole technique video on chromatic triplets, how to learn them, how to put them in places, what, where they go, what they do, all that stuff. So definitely check that out if you want to know a little bit more about those. So we're going to do that all on an up bow, three, two, three, two, one, 